Vandals have targeted a Mililani farm by chopping down hundreds of papaya trees and damaging equipment. That farm is just off of Lani Kuhana Avenue in an agricultural area near homes. KITV4's Jill Kuramoto is live from the newsroom with the latest. Jill? Well, Paula, it appears that whoever did this used a machete, and the damage is extensive and disturbing. Jerry Punzel surveys his sea of stumps. And to have somebody just come in and do something like this, yeah, it doesn't make you feel good at all. Sometime between 5 o'clock last night and 10 this morning, someone destroyed more than a year of hard labor. So that's a year of work, of, of fertilizer, of water, of maintaining the ground, of spraying, to get the tree to where it's going to bear fruit. And then you usually would have that same tree bear fruit for the next three years. Nearly 400 papaya trees worth tens of thousands of dollars were butchered, most ready for harvest. Vandals also damaged irrigation lines. Judging by the height of where all these trees were cut, Jerry doesn't think that little kids are responsible for this. You're not looking at somebody that's stable, that's for sure. It's not the first time Punzel's farm has been targeted by criminals. In the past, they've tried to steal his generators, but this time the motive is more disturbing because no fruit was stolen. This isn't just a common crime. You know, this, this is something that with the intent of hurting someone. Carol Cox lives next to the farm. He's worried that whoever did this will move beyond the crops and target nearby homes. This statement here says that they don't care. They don't have any regard for the law, anything about personal property, a private property. There's no limit for them. One clue was left behind, a footprint. We know it doesn't belong to any of uh, us. Now, we just learned that a woman who lives nearby says she saw three teenaged boys in the area of the farm yesterday afternoon, but police have not yet questioned them. There is a $2,000 reward being offered for information leading to the arrest and prosecution of the person responsible for the vandalism. Call police if you think you know something about this case. Reporting live in the newsroom, Jill Kuramoto, KITV4 News.